In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit videos for Facebook, the easiest and quickest way. So let's jump straight in. So what's coming up in the video? We have got why you should be editing videos for Facebook, how to edit videos for Facebook, quick tips to make your videos stand out from the crowd, and how to export your Facebook video. Why should you edit videos for Facebook? You might want to edit videos for Facebook because you've got a business, or maybe you just want to share a family video you made. And did you know Facebook gets 8 billion videos? video views daily. So I'm going to show you how to edit videos for Facebook so you can get some of those views. How to edit videos for Facebook. So you want to head over to veed.io and create a free account. You can also search for it on Google or I'm going to link it in the description down below for you. So now when you're there click on a new project and upload the video that you want to edit for Facebook. So now as you can see you've got your timeline at the bottom with your video, you've got your video on the right here and you've got some really cool tools on the left. Okay, I'm gonna start by resizing my canvas because my video right now isn't the right aspect ratio to use on Facebook, it's more for YouTube. So this is exactly how to resize your video to be able to use it on Facebook or anywhere you'd like. Now this is really easy. All you need to do is go to size here and search for Twitter or Facebook landscape, five by four. Now this is what I'm gonna use because my video is already landscape. If you've got a portrait of yourself talking, perhaps you might want to use portrait. But for now, I'm just gonna click on landscape, which is then going to resize my canvas. And then all I have to do is use these handles to resize it just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little gap at the top because I want to add some text to the top, which I'm gonna show you how to do next. So now once you've done that, let's head over to text on the toolbar right here, click on text, and I'm gonna click on headline, which is then going to add this text onto my canvas. And also on my timeline, it's added a text element, which as you can see, if you click and drag on the ends here, you can resize and move anywhere on your timeline and in your video. So I'm going to move my text to the top and I'm going to change the color so I can see it. The moment it's black, there we go. I'm gonna change its size like so. And I'm going to change the text just like that. And you can also change the text here. So if you click on here as well, you can change the background color of your text and change it to block. And as you can see, that changes the background of my text. So once you've done that, let's now look at how you can add multiple clips, how you can cut and edit the clips together to make a video. So first let's increase our timeline so we can see it more of it. And to add another video clip, all you have to do is click on the plus here and then choose what video you want to use and it will be added into your timeline. Now I can use the playhead, scroll along and find where I want this video to start. So let's say I wanted to start it from there, click on my footage and click on split. And it's going to make a cut in my footage and divide these two pieces. Now I can click on this one and click on delete and it's going to remove that first part and I can move my footage along. Now all I have to do is choose where I want it to end. Click on it again and click on split and then delete the rest of it. And that's exactly how you can edit your video. Now this is looking really, really cool. I'm really happy with this actually. If I wanted to, I could use this straight away. I could just click on export at the top right and Veed will export my video and I can download it and I can use it to Facebook. But first I want to show you how you can color correct your footage because this really makes your video stand out, it's incredible. So let's go to filters, and these are some predefined filters that are ready made, they've been professionally made for your footage. And if you click on these and take a look, you've even got a black and white one there which looks really cool. So just choose one that you like, choose one that goes with your video and what you're looking for. I'm gonna go for this one, and as you can see, you can increase and decrease how much of that filter that you want to use. Now the other way you can color correct your footage is by clicking on your video footage. And up here in adjust, you've got some settings like exposure, brightness, contrast and saturation to really give you some control over exactly how your footage looks. Now on the left here in upload, you'll see that you can upload more video, you can upload an image, you can also upload audio. Now this is really useful if you want to add music to your video, which of course is a fantastic way to make it more engaging and to keep people watching. And if your video has speech in it, someone's talking in it, you 
you can get Veed to automatically transcribe your video, which means it takes the audio from your video, turns it into text, and then uses that text to create subtitles for your video. And this is really beneficial because people browse platforms like Facebook and Instagram without any sound. You can also manually input subtitles and you can upload an SRT file, but I've always found auto transcribing works brilliantly. Quick tips for your Facebook videos. So here are my quick tips on how to edit videos for Facebook. If like me, you share video to all kinds of different platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you can make sure your video's aspect ratio is perfect for those platforms in settings and size. This is really, really beneficial because it means you can use your videos anywhere and you want your video's dimensions to be right for the platform that you're using on because otherwise they won't look very good and you might lose engagement. So what about video length? Now, if you're creating a Facebook story, you want it to be about 15 seconds or under. Whereas if it's a Facebook post, you might want to keep it to three minutes because otherwise people sometimes lose engagement and they click out and they go elsewhere. How to export your Facebook video. So when you're finished and you're happy, all you need to do is click on export at the top right and export video and Veed will export your video ready for you to share on Facebook or anywhere that you'd like to. And as you can see, you can keep on editing your video. You can download it as an MP4, or you can even download it as a GIF if you want to. And that is exactly how to edit videos for Facebook. I really hope this video has helped you out and I can't wait to see what you've created. I'm really interested to know how this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, tips, or questions for me. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a quick like and subscribe to see all our future videos. We've got so much coming up. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.